Hi, welcome back to my channel. Bishop J. Drew Sheard Sr. had a strong sermon for an Atlanta preacher who played hip-hop music during a New Year's Eve service. Sheard served as the presiding pastor of the Greater Emmanuel Institutional Church of God in Christ in Detroit, Michigan. Sheard was preaching about a New Year's Eve service by Bishop William Murphy III at the Dream Center Church of Atlanta. Murphy's service included a DJ who played the song Swag Surfing by Fast Life Youngstars, and Sheard noted his disapproval in his sermon on January 7th. Church don't sound like the club. Church don't sound like the nightclub. There's a unique sound in the church. And I can tell when it's an off sound. Because that sound don't do nothing but raise my flesh up. I'm here to tell you, it's something going on in your life and you need deliverance and you can't walk this thing out. You can't shout it out. You need deliverance. A clip of Shared's Too Much Noise sermon is making the rounds on Instagram and fans reacted to the curious choice of words used by the pastor. The 65-year-old began by talking about the unique sounds of a church and people making noise. We're at a point right now where I don't need people just making noise, he began. I need people who are sincerely trying to get some results from God. If that's you, say that's what I'm taking about. Some of this noise is not joyful. Some of this noise is ugly noise. It's satanic noise. I need to get rid of the noise. Church don't sound like the club, the passionate pastor continued. Church don't sound like the nightclub. There's a unique sound in the church, and I can tell when it's an off sound because that sound don't do nothing but raise my flesh up. I'm here to tell you, it's something's going on in your life and you need deliverance and you can't walk this thing out. You can't shout it out. You need deliverance. Many Instagram users agreed with Shared's words and replied in the comment section. One fan replied, yes, sir. Holiness and sanctification is what God is calling for. Another user wrote, amen, Bishop. My father used to say heaven or hell, no in between. Dozens of users noted the mix of music genres. Gospel is built off the club. It's a mix of blues and jazz, wrote one user. Several others had jokes about shared sermon, including one who wrote, raises your flesh to do what? LOL. Another added, raise my flesh up? That's the best the pastor come up with? The comment prompted another to reply, there's a unique sound. Shared is married to Grammy winning gospel singer Karen Clark Shared, and the couple share two children, songwriter John Drew Shared II and gospel singer Kiara Kiki Shared Kelly. Bishop J. Drew Shared Sr., a prominent leader in the Church of God in Christ, Kojic, has played a significant role in shaping the landscape of modern African American ministry. His journey, however, has not been without controversy. In recent years, he has faced scrutiny and allegations that have sparked debates within and beyond the church community. Before delving into the controversy surrounding Bishop Shared, it's essential to understand his background and the context in which he operates. Sheard has been a central figure in Kojic, known for his charismatic preaching and community outreach. As the pastor of Greater Emmanuel Institutional Church of God in Christ in Detroit, Michigan, he has led initiatives aimed at empowering congregants and addressing social issues. His leadership was recognized when he was consecrated as a bishop in 2007, and he later became the presiding bishop of Kojic. Throughout his tenure, he has advocated for unity within the church and engaged in philanthropic efforts establishing programs to support the underprivileged. In 2021, Bishop J. Drew Shared became embroiled in a scandal that garnered significant media attention and stirred controversy within the church community. The issue primarily revolved around allegations of financial mismanagement and ethical concerns regarding the use of church funds. As the presiding bishop, Shared was responsible for overseeing substantial resources and making critical financial decisions. Reports surfaced suggesting that he had misallocated funds, leading to questions about transparency and accountability within the church's financial operations. These allegations were serious, particularly in a religious context where trust and integrity are paramount. The scandal prompted mixed reactions from the Kojic community and beyond. Some congregants expressed their support for Sherd, highlighting his long-standing commitment to the church and his positive contributions. They argued that the allegations might have been exaggerated or politically motivated, especially in a landscape where leadership changes can often lead to conflict. Others, however, were concerned about the implications of the allegations. 
The Kojic community has a long history of valuing financial stewardship and ethical leadership, so the accusations of financial impropriety raised alarm bells. Calls for transparency intensified, with some members demanding independent audits to clarify the church's financial situation. The media coverage surrounding the scandal played a crucial role in shaping public perception. News outlets reported on the allegations extensively, sometimes framing the situation in sensational terms. This coverage contributed to a climate of suspicion and skepticism regarding Sheard's leadership. Bishop Sheard and his supporters attempted to address the concerns by publicly affirming the church's commitment to ethical stewardship and accountability. They emphasized the importance of due process and expressed confidence in the church's financial integrity. However, as the story developed, it became clear that the fallout from the scandal would likely have lasting effects on his reputation and the church's standing. The scandal has had significant implications for Bishop Sheard's ministry and the Kogic community. The controversy has raised questions about the future of his leadership and the trust of congregants. Some members have expressed concerns that the allegations could undermine the church's mission and damage its reputation in a broader community. In response to the challenges posed by the scandal, Bishop Sheard has sought to reinforce his commitment to transparency and accountability. He has engaged in public discussions about the importance of financial integrity within the church and emphasized the need for continued community support. As the controversy unfolds, Bishop Sheard faces the challenge of navigating the complexities of leadership amid scrutiny. Maintaining the trust of his congregation while addressing the allegations will require thoughtful communication and action. Many leaders within the church have encouraged him to adopt a proactive approach, including open forums for discussion and engagement with congregants. The scandal has also prompted broader conversations within Kojic and other religious communities about accountability and transparency in leadership. Discussions about best practices for financial management, ethical conduct, and the responsibilities of church leaders are increasingly relevant in today's church environment. Bishop J. Drew Sheard Sr. has undeniably faced significant challenges in light of the recent scandal, which has put his leadership and integrity under scrutiny. While he has a legacy of service and leadership within the Church of God in Christ, the allegations of financial mismanagement have raised critical questions about the future of his ministry and the trust of his congregation. As the situation continues to develop, it serves as a reminder of the complexities that accompany leadership in religious communities. The outcomes will likely shape not only Bishop Sheard's future, but also the ongoing discussions about accountability, ethics, and the role of faith leaders in navigating challenges within their organizations. The way he addresses these issues may determine his legacy and the trust placed in him by his followers and the broader community. Bishop Sheard began his pastoral journey at an early age, being ordained in his 20s. He has served in various capacities within Kojic, ultimately becoming the pastor of the Greater Emmanuel Institutional Church of God in Christ in Detroit, Michigan, a position he has held for several years. Under his leadership, the church has seen significant growth and has become a central hub for community outreach and spiritual development. In 2007, Sherd was consecrated as a bishop, further solidifying his position within the church hierarchy. He has held numerous leadership roles, including serving as the presiding bishop of Kojic, his influence extends beyond the church as he engages with national and international religious communities, promoting unity and collaboration among various denominations. Bishop Sheard's personal life is deeply intertwined with his ministry. He is married to First Lady Dr. Latonia Sheard, who is not only a supportive partner, but also an accomplished leader in her own right. Latonia has a background in education and serves as the Dean of the Kojic International Department of Women. Together, they have been a powerful couple in ministry, promoting various initiatives that address the needs of their congregation and community. The couple has three children, J. Drew II, Courtney, and Kendall. J. Drew II, who follows in his father's footsteps, has taken on leadership roles within the church and has shown a keen interest in ministry and outreach. Courtney and Kendall are also involved in various church activities, reflecting the family's commitment to service and faith. Bishop Sheard is passionate about community engagement and has been involved in numerous outreach programs aimed at improving the lives of those in need. He emphasizes the importance of addressing social issues, including poverty, education, and mental health within the church and the broader community. 
His initiatives often focus on empowering individuals and families, fostering a sense of hope and resilience. One of the significant projects under his leadership has been the establishment of the Greater Emmanuel Church's Community Development Corporation, which aims to provide resources and support for local families. Through this organization, Shared has worked to address issues such as food insecurity, housing instability, and access to education. Like many leaders, Bishop Shared has faced challenges throughout his ministry, navigating the complexities of leadership within a large denomination, especially during times of social upheaval and change, requires a delicate balance of tradition and innovation. He has often spoken about the importance of adapting to the needs of the community while staying true to the core values of faith. In recent years, Shared has also had to address the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. He quickly adapted his ministry to provide virtual services and support to his congregation, emphasizing the need for connection and spiritual nourishment during difficult times. His ability to pivot and lead his congregation through these unprecedented challenges reflects his commitment to both faith and community. Bishop J. Drew Sheard Sr. is not only a leader within the Church of God in Christ, but also a beacon of hope and inspiration for many. His personal life, characterized by dedication to his family, faith, and community, serves as a model for others in ministry. He exemplifies the idea that leadership is not just about titles or positions, but about serving others and making a lasting impact. As he continues his work, Sheard's legacy will likely be defined by his contributions to the church, his commitment to social justice, and his unwavering support for his family and community. His life story is a testament to the power of faith, resilience, and the importance of nurturing relationships, both within the church and in the broader world. Through his efforts, he aims to uplift those around him, encouraging them to pursue their dreams and faith journeys while fostering a spirit of unity and love. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Please like and share my videos. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for latest update and bell button for notification.